Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew Miley with AMM Sounds Recording. I uh, just want to make a quick video here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about your VST plugins. Now, when you're on your um, start page here in Studio One, hit the keyboard shortcut, Command, Comma, which will bring up your preferences. Your first tab is User Data. Make your way all the way over to the last tab here, which is called VST Plugins. Okay. Um, inside this tab, you're gonna see um, it's gonna look different on your on your page. Uh, you know, it's gonna look a little different just because of the folder names and whatever folders you have set up. But in this tab. When you start Studio One, it scans everything that you have set up in the folders that you have set up, and Studio One scans them to recognize what's in those folders to use whatever's in those folders in Studio One. So, um, for the plugins, for those that don't know, plugins are what you use for your effects, you know, instruments, and stuff like that. So. Um, say you downloaded um, some new plugins and you wanted to use them in Studio One, how would you go about doing that and having Studio One recognize them? Well, this little guy right here, if you don't have this checked, it's not going to scan these folders when you start Studio One. I believe that's how it works. I believe it scans these folders. This, but this is scanning these or it might be scanning the whole computer to see recognize if there's any plugins newly installed on your computer regardless um, you, you want to have this checked always scan at startup I believe it's for these folders only but it could be your whole computer and it might notify you that there are other plugins outside of these folders um, but don't quote me on that but anyway you want to keep this checked so when you start Studio One, it's going to scan your computer or these folders for uh, new plugins that you might have installed. Now, say you have a plugin that isn't working correctly. Um, when you start Studio One, it's going to tell you it's not working properly and you're going to hit OK or whatever you're going to do. You might go and fix the issue then, you might wait or whatever. But if you. Um, if you hit OK and a plugin's not working and you recognize that, it's gonna not notify you anymore. So after you um, after you um, click on whatever it was the warning that popped up in Studio One, it's not gonna um, ask you or bother you anymore when you start Studio One. Now, if you fix the issue and you're trying to um, get the plugin to be recognized in Studio One and it's not, you're going to have to reset the blacklist because what Studio One does is if it's not working correctly, it puts it on a blacklist. So if you uh, resolve all your issues with that plugin um, and it's still not working pro uh, properly, come in here and reset the blacklist and that should do it for you. But anyway, your locations down here are pretty much exactly what it is. It's your locations for where you are storing your VST plugins. And wh wherever you have your plugins installed on your computer, you want to um, <clears throat> you want to put that folder in here. Usually you just want your plugins to be in one folder. So um, the way I run my Mac is I run my Mac as an admin and a user. So it's a little different here. But um, just find your folder where you have your plugins and hit add okay and when you hit add it's gonna come up here and you can select the folder and you just hit it or and you can add it or you can remove whatever you want and that's pretty much it so whenever studio once starts up it will scan these folders and you'll be good to go alright I will see you guys in the next video thanks